So people have been taught the right thing, you know, when prayerful, remain everything, but you must go to church, mm. must go to work, because it is the work that helps the society. Society must not prayer. No, no, no. Prayer is after work. God can only bless hard work. He cannot bless you for sleeping. So if you this is what it should be. Hello. Hello. Brunching Uda Brots. Hello, pastors, geos, church founders. This is what the Bible said when he said, bring the food into my house. There should be food in God's household for those that could not afford it. This is what the Bible says. Your tithe and offering should go to these people. Take care of them and not run the money by yourself. And then tell us, praise the Lord. The Lord is good. Those things you say irritates people like us because you're supposed to take care of those people. You see them? These are clothes, shoes, all out for people to assist them, to help the people of God, to help the needy among you, the orphans, the widows among you. Pastors, the tithe is not meant for you. Those tithes are not meant for you. The tithe is meant for God's children that needs the assistance. So, let's begin to think straight. Okay? Let's do it the right way. Let's take care of the people of God. Let's take care of those people that God has placed for us to assist. If you are lucky to get this support. Hello, Alex. Sorry, I was making video. I didn't know I wasn't making video the other time. I, I, I'm on duty. You're working. Yeah. You're helping God's children. Yeah. That's good. God bless you. Yeah. God Thanks. bless you. God bless you all. This is what the Bible says. This is the Bible. Hello. Can I get some? <laughs> Hello. So this is what stuff. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Alice good. Alice good. Alice good. This is what the Bible basically is saying. Let's take care of the hungry people. Let's take care of those that need assistance from us and not get all the money and say, oh, I'm a pastor. I'm a pastor and you're not taking care of the children of God. Shame on you. Shame on you. This is what it is, okay? Well, there's a lot there. It's a Christian system to this poor. Hmm. You know, and it all starts with the primary school mm. age. There's low morals, mm. low discipline, mm. and the families too. You know, because I can tell you, the impact I had from my own parents, I don't think I'm even giving the same impact. Mm. There's a lot of discipline yeah. that comes with it mm. and everything. And that impact is very critical on all that, you know. It is very critical. So we need to recuperate our educational system. Mm. That was why when I had the opportunity of serving as a governor, I took school back to the missionaries. Mm. Because they, they had the opportunity of inciting that discipline and that morals and making it work. So that people will know. And then it goes through by the time you are in higher education. Because the most important part of education is basic education. Not actually university education. Tertiary education is just, you can have it, you may not have it. Mm. Because the, the actual thing is that those who change the world, most of them, didn't have opportunity of having a tertiary education. Mm. You know, people talk about the education today. If you pick up people like Edison that changed about electricity and everything, they didn't know go to school. Today, the biggest company that anybody can think of is Apple. Mm -hmm. You know, 
Apple was founded by two people who were supposed to be secondary school dropouts. Steve Jobs didn't go to university and everything um, can go on and go on. Microsoft, Bill Gates didn't go to, didn't have a budget. So it wasn't, it's not as if if you go to the UK, people like Richard Branson will drop out. Even we look at what women wear today, whether it's a, a Gucci was started by Ado Gucci, who is the hotel porter in, in um, Risco Hotel. So I can go on and on. And one of the things I do in life, like I was telling you, is to read about people and nation, how it was created. So sort of, once you have the basic education, and that is what is lacking here, yeah. we've not been able to train people properly to have proper educa education that will make them conduct themselves properly, be productive. Because we live largely in a very unproductive society. Yeah. You know, Nigeria is not producing anything. The only thing that makes, that's why the only thing that is attractive here is politics and church. Mm. You need to dismantle it. Mm. People need to be productive. How, how can we dismantle, you say we, should, we need to, dis the, the only thing that is attract attractive is the, politics and church. How do we dismantle politics and church? Because it's like two of them are horse and carriage, they go together. Well, it's very simple. If you stop people from stealing public money mm. and use public money for public good, you make politics unattractive. It shouldn't be. What we're doing here is state capture. is a criminalized entity. Mm. So you have stolen the country or the state, so you steal everything that is there. That must stop. The church must teach morals. Mm. Church must work. You know, and we're going to turn night vigil into night shift. Mm. Mm. So people can be productive. We're not saying you shouldn't go to church. I go to church, I believe in God. Yes. But we cannot have people Monday to Friday be in church morning and night. No. Because they don't run the church. Like Catholic church, they don't run it on helmet full of grace. They collect money. And that money has to be a function of productivity. Mm. Mm. So they need to work on it. So these are things we need to work on. So people have to be taught the right thing, you know, remain prayerful, remain everything, but you must go to church. Mm. Must go to work. Because it is the work that helps the society. Society must Not prayer. No, no, no. Prayer is after work. God can only bless hard work. He cannot bless you for sleeping. She said, if you like, don't forget about it. What anybody tells you, you know, if, if, uh, forget anybody who tells you. Anybody who tells you that you got a lot from praying should be arrested. <laughs> you guys told somebody some money, simple. Well, what of the prayer in the church that they say, a prayer for Nigeria, raise your phone, miracle alert will enter your phone. It cannot, it's stealing. You cannot, there's no miracle. You cannot get money by miracle. I can tell you that. I'm born into church. My brother is a reverend father. He has never prayed and money came into his... his what, about, what about grace? <laughs> eh? Some people have grace. No, 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 no. It, it, that's what I'm saying. The grace is after hard work. Mm. Mm. God can bless hard work. God can bless productivity. God can bless an industry. God cannot bless somebody who is sleeping. It has never happened anywhere in the world. In fact, in the Bible, they say there's no food. For those who didn't work, mm. they should not be fed. So it's very clear. Jesus worked miracles mm. by going around and blessing productivity. Mm. There's never any place where Jesus did anything and somebody had money or prosperity. Prosperity came to those who worked. That's it. But they say if you pay tight. Your you, you, the, the door, be doors of heaven will open unto you. After you've walked, that tithe is given to God, to humanity. So if you go to hospital, it's tight. Mm. If you help poor people, it's tight. If you give it to church, it's tight. But that tithe must be a product, must come from productivity for God to continue to bless whatever you do do it. But if you just stay 
and come and borrow money from me and go and pay tight, he will never double. Mm. Unless you are money double. When you see. Welcome back, child of God. New subscribers, thank you so much for joining me. Returning once, I appreciate your support. Thank you so much, I'm grateful. P2B is still speaking, you know. This is part three of this is a interview uh, where he touched pastors and the deacons, our leaders, Christian leaders. So if you have not watched part one and part two, if you're on YouTube, I'll put the link on the description so I can watch the part one and part two and understand what we are saying. Part one, he said that he's going to uh, turn night vigil into night shift. We have treated that one. Part two, he said that miracle money, miracle money, anybody that claimed that he received miracle money should be arrested. Then they're supposed to arrest the person. So this part three now is a part that he talk about fighting and giving. Now, they can see the video of Emeka Ike in Germany. Emeka Ike traveled to Germany and uh, he went to where they are, doing, they are giving free food. This place you are seeing is a place where Germans, every morning, this one is not like, uh, uh, no, today you will not come. No, every day, every day, they even have cooked food there. You can go there, eat as you like, and go home free. Nobody charges you free. So that is how they operate. That is how they operate in this part of the world. Yes. Every, not there, everywhere in Germany, they have these people. They have them. They even have, this one said, they even have the one of Catholic Church. Catholic Church, do you know that there are some people that they are not allowed to give offering in Catholic Church? If you try to give offering, they will stop you. They will say, no, 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 don't worry. Unless you force yourself and put your offering. Some of our people here, they don't allow them to give offering. Some of our people that uh, government is taking care of, they don't allow them to give offering. Unless they force them and put the offering there. That is how they operate. These are people that understand. They collect title. Country church, churches collect title here. How they are even reading the title here is that if you're a Catholic member, once you're a Catholic church and you start working, your thigh will be automatically going to church account. When they remove your tight, as in before they give you your salary, they pay your salary, they first of all remove the tight and send to Catholic, Catholic church account. That is how they operate here. Now, that, those titan, all your titan, the Catholic church will gather the titan and help, use it to help the needy and the poor. They will use it, you see, every, every month. They would give you account of how they spent the money, how your tithe is being spent, how they what they do with the money, how they visit one African country or two African countries, and what they spend. As, as, in fact, eh, accurate. This one is not nothing like Yahoo. There, they will give you account details, everything. This is how we spent this money on the needies. That is how they operate here. But where I come from, no. You see this food is free. If you want clothes, the church is also there for you. Catholic church is always there for you. You can go there, collect clothes as you like. These people are also there for you. This group now. Caritas, they call them Caritas here. They give free food, free everything, free. If you wish to. So that is how we, they roll here. They take care of the needy, the poor, some Government is in charge. Some of them, some of these activities, government is also in, involved. Their government. Their government. So you see, when pastor say, according to my brother, Apostle Joseph, Apostle Michael Olobo, who said that, and the prophet Ritabai, who claimed that your sight belonged to your, belonged to your pastor and not anybody else. It belonged to your pastor. So is your pastor that's supposed to eat the tithe? I think I disagree with this. They are teaching. This tithe in olden days was for the needies and the poor. See, pastors collecting tithe is not my problem. 
My problem is what the are you doing with the tight? He that used to collect these tights and use all of them on the needies, that thing would have it would be better. But you can't just collect tight and pocket it for yourself. But I would not say that tight belong to the 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 priest alone. Mm -mm. The Levites, the those the priests that were collecting tight in olden days, they were also they were Levites, people that don't have, they were the needies. Please, that fall under under need this hasn't they were also in need and not all priests everything just come and collect according to apostle apostle said that uh, not he can be he can be selling estate and come and collect and be collecting tight no why must he not even work levi's of today that are working then we don't have levi's again they are working why can't you work pastor no, why must you not work as a pastor, as a priest? You're supposed to go to work. Don't be committing laziness. You can create something, you can be writing books. Just make create something that can be giving you money so that you don't be stealing from your members or be taxing them unnecessarily. Go to work. Yes, if any man does not work, Apostle Paul says, let him not eat. You go and look for pastors here, go to work. Yes, they work here. They, they work to pay their bills. Then on Sunday, they gather or weekend they, or any day they have activity. They gather in the evening, praise God and go home. But where I come from, no. Pastor, all the bodies on the, on the members. Pastor will collect tight and pocket. And this is exactly what Bible condemned. Jesus was, God was telling us, Bible was telling us in Malachi 3.10. How priests used to gather things and pocket them for themselves. I will not share among the needy and the poor. He said, bring here the tithe into my house, that there shall be meat in my house. That scripture was talking to them and not us. And not the payers. Did Jesus pay tithe? Did the disciples pay tithe? Why are they not collecting? Why are you guys still collecting tithe? The disciples of Jesus, we claim that we are Christ-like. People that are doing what Christ did. People that are, that are imitating Christ. But the person you are imitating did not collect it. The person you are imitating did not collect it. Why are you collecting it? Generally, you collect it. 10% of their income. You the same generally you tell them that their first salary belongs to you. Really? Then how would they not get money to pay tight inside the 10%? Because say that if they remove first salary belong to you. That is that means. Their January salary belongs to you. January, that is your first fruit. The same January say they have to pay tight ten percent of their income. How? No, how now? Can they, where do they get money for tight in the January? Because they have given you the money for as first fruit. Meanwhile, there's nothing like January in the record book of heaven. My men created that January February for a thing, and you guys now put it like that and be stealing. In the name of the Lord. Stealing in the name of the Lord. No conscience. Bible recorded that the disciples of Jesus, they distributed things and none among them lack. They share things, people gather things and they share among themselves and none lack. So meaning nobody is supposed to lack in the church. Church is not a place full of for poor, poor people. But in my own generation, churches in Nigeria are full of poor people. It's wrong. In this part of the world, there's nothing like Poor people, full church, no? You see them and they'll be looking for what to help, to give you. You have, oh, because government is taking care of you. Nobody in this general, in this Germany that said that I'm hungry. God provide for me daily bread. It's no prayer point here. Yet they will still be looking for what to give you. Because they believe that they may be, they think that they are better than you. You see, that is how they roll here. That is how you both behave here. They know they value the poor more than even, in fact, even their government even put it like that. The lesser, first. That is how they put it. In fact, even the road. For you to cross road here, if you're a driver, you must take, you must, you must consider them. People that are trekking them first before you. You don't just drive anyhow in like in our place. No. If you mistakenly hit any of them, you see government will come for you. 
you you will regret getting that your license. Or you drive them any rough. Or this thing that do in our place, you just drive rough and pour somebody sand anyhow. You don't nothing concern them or dirty water. The, you don't try it here. So that is how they roll. They first they will teach the government package it that you have to value these people. Anybody that you think that you are better than, you must value the person. You must respect the person. And you guys say, hey, they are not Christians. Uh, they, are not, they don't used to pray like us. You will pray, like, you pray more than them. But they practice Christ more than you. You pray more than them. They practice Christ more than you. No German pastor has private jet. Nobody. Nobody. And they preach their Christ. They move around. Preach Jesus. Nobody. They practice Christ more than you. Not everyone who said to me, Lord, Lord, we enter the kingdom of, of heaven. But only one who does the will of my father who is in heaven. So the gain is doing. Is not praying. Matthew 7, 23. Verse 21. Matthew chapter 7. Start from verse 21. 21 says, he who does it. Practical Christianity. Christ practice Christianity. Our own will preach Christianity. Christianity. We don't practice Christianity. If pastor want to do social media advert, you go and bring small things like that out of millions, millions he have gathered and share among the poor and video it everywhere, post it everywhere, post it on his social media, all his social media platforms. In fact, even pay bloggers to help him to post. In fact, he even he will go and pay news people, news uh, broadcasters to help him to broadcast it. You see, the version of giving we are giving. <laughs> Then you will rest. That is the version of Christianity we are practicing. Do you know that these people will I compare? Well, I don't need to compare the characters of Germans, their characters and our character. No, is it government? No, I don't need to compare at all. So I want to appreciate and make it care for this. I want to also appreciate Peter Toby, appreciate all the speakers. Please, your sight does not belong to your pastor. As Christian, you're not supposed to fight. If you must give, I'm not saying, don't forget to, I'm not against giving. Okay? I'm only against extortion and manipulation. He's tight, he's paying. There's nothing like uh, he's giving. We don't give tight. Mm -mm. We don't pay tight. In new generation, according to Apostle Mike, he said, in new generation, we don't, in, in Christ, we don't, we don't pay tight. We give tight. No, sir. We pay tight. Once you give it 10%, once you say, this thing is your 10%, a tag on it. Amount I'm going to give is no longer giving, it's paying. Okay? And in Christ, we don't pay. Apostle Paul says, he said, let everyone give, not out of grudging or necessity. For God loves a cheerful giver. A cheerful giver. And not a giver that was manipulated by a pastor. And not a giver that they started from. And not a giver that they deceived. A cheerful giver. What he has decided, what he has proposed in his heart to give. When you say I should give 10% of my income, he did not, I did not propose it in my heart. No. You force me. You tax me to give it. So, his payment, his payment, Pastor Paul Enetje's wife said in one of her videos, I'll put the link on the description for YouTube. She said that his payment, that we don't give tight, we pay tight. So you don't give because if she says he's giving, then maybe you will give what you feel like. So you pay. <laughs> and that is all. You pay tight. So since it's payment, it's not for Christians. In Christ, we give willingly. Expecting in it, nothing in return. Our reward is eternal. Which is what? Well done, my faithful servant. Your wealth preach Christ to men. Your wealth puts smile in the life of men. When I was hungry, you fed me. When I was suffering, you take care, you took care, you took care of me. When I was in prison, you visited me. This is Jesus telling his people, people that normally extort money, manipulate people. He said, when I was this, you did not care. In Matthew 25. You did not care. But this group of people visited me. This group of people helped me. He said, Christ, when do we see you in prison and we do not visit you? He said, when you have, when you did it to 
any of these people, you have done it for me. So when you are giving to the poor, you are giving to Christ. You are rendering it to Christ. You are doing it. You wipe away tears of men. You see somebody is in pain because you have that money. You use that money to wipe that pain. Do you think that the person will forget? Even if the person forget, Christ will not forget. That is practical Christianity. But our own, no. We pray high, we pray much, but it's too stingy. Our pastors has preached, 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 preached it to us, make us to understand that giving to the poor should be your less concern. That giving to the pastor and the church should be your more concern, which is not Christianity. I'm not against giving to the poor, to the church. No, I'm only against manipulation. Of course, it's our responsibility to take care of our pastors and the church. But these people, they will have plenty churches so that you will not even have space to help the needies. They will be preaching tight, 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 tight so that you don't have space or have the one you take care of the needies. If they are preaching, giving, free will giving, giving to the needies and poor, the way they are preaching tight in our, in our churches, in Nigeria churches, I'm telling you, nobody will remain poor in the, in the church. Because people will understand that these people are my they are my assignment. But in our own, mm -mm, they will preach tight, tight, tight. People will not have it in mind that giving to the church and pastor is my first priority and not the widows and orphans among us. Meanwhile, the time of Jesus, Jesus, the Bible said that Jesus had compassion on them. He had compassion on these needies. He had compassion on them. So Jesus focused on the poor. When he met a, a rich a rich man, a rich man said to Jesus, he said, what should I do that I may inherit the kingdom of God? And Jesus said to him, he said, live life of holiness, life of righteousness. It's all these things I have observed from my youth. You shall not knock somebody you shall, that is not your wife. You shall not knock, you shall not do all this. Live holy life. And he said, all these things I have observed from my youth. And Jesus said to him, one thing remains. Go, sell all you have. Share to the poor, the widows, the orphans, the, the people in pain. People that cannot afford three square meal. Give them three square meal. Be the father to the fatherless. Help them. Put smile in their lives. Save souls with your wealth. Then come and follow me. One thing remain. He did not say, go sell your things and give to the pastor a fight or break to me. No, go sell all you have and share to the poor and widows, to the needies. It not say, bring it to me, then I will bless you. So give so that God will bless you. This is a manipulation of men. It's calm. It doesn't work. There's nothing like that. God is not being trained by butter. They'll say, if you're not a tighter, the father is coming. If you're not a tighter, your life will not be, it will be tight. If you're not a tighter, Hello? So that God is now wicked that if you do not bribe him with money, he will not bless you. Meanwhile, Apostle Paul said, if any man does not work, let him not eat. There is dignity in labor. Let him not eat. He does not say, if any man did not pay tight, let him not eat. No. So the reward of our giving is eternal, which is what? Well done, my faithful servant. Your wealth Preach Christ to men. See, preaching Christ to men is not only when you carry a microphone and be preaching everywhere. No. Preaching Christ to men is all about this giving. When you feed a needy, a poor widow that is not born again, there is no way that woman will not look at you twice. This person that helped me. The person would like to be your friend. By so doing, you will convert the person to Christ. If a widow or orphan that is not born again or a needy that is not born again. Have the opportunity of benefiting from your goodness. As in financial goodness. Or you clothe the person. There is no way the person will not like to be closer to you. My son, the person will be converted. That is how you preach Christ to men. With your wealth. You preach Christ to men with your wealth. By going to the church. Helping your pastor. Helping take away bodies in the church. These are... Microphone is not free. These are means people put to take care of preach Christ to men. Okay, so let's do the work of God. Let's preach this Jesus. God is not for sale. Let us be presenting this God as a hungry God. 
Let us be presenting our God to men as God of stingy and wicked. That without money, you cannot bless me. No. That without money, without tight, your life is tight. Without this, your life is not in risk. Mm -mm. This is a manipulation of men. You will not catch Christians. They will be scared of their God. Meanwhile, their God is supposed to be their partner. Their God is supposed to be their friend. So money should not be uh, something that will put asunder between me and my God. We will put uh, distance between me and my God. See, or even people don't go to church. You. They don't go to church like that. But they practice Christ. I'm telling you, they practice Christ. They hardly to hurt people. They don't hurt people like that. They don't. They don't. They are so they they have love, heart of as in they have genuine love of Christ. Somebody will say, but the rest is yes, that one is totally different from this one I'm talking about. If you mingle with them, if you live with them, you understand what they, they how they used to do things. They love more than us. We are full of wickedness, and we're full of manipulation. Our own is how we manipulate people, how we were stolen from people. You will never hear a Yibo man from Germany tell you that if you don't pay tight, your life is, is not safe. In fact, even the one of country church, they don't force it people. Who. They don't force it on people. They don't. It's willingly. If you wish, you pay. At the end of the month, they, even, they used to give here. If you go to church, they used to, and pay tight, they used to give you receipt. Yes, because everything is accountable. It's only African church that doesn't give receipt. One day, one man asked one African pastor uh, in, in the church to give him a receipt. Ojibo man, he, he went to the church and uh, he paid tight. The man said receipt. The man, the African man said no. He wants to, if he did that in the case, collect your tight, collect your money. The man said, really? The man paid, because at times police even used to go to church here. Police used to go to some of the African countries, their churches, to go and know what is going on there. There's anything, manipulation or whatever to come and deceive government. They will arrest them, shut down the church. The man gave free will. The pastor said that they needed a, they needed microphone, many things in the church. And the man willingly said he want to pay. He paid 1,000 something euros. After the payment, the man requested for receipt. Because he came the other time, the next time, and said, Pastor said he had bought those things. Look at them. Thank you. God, God will bless you after the prayer. The man said, please, can I have the receipt? Can I have the receipt so I can use and do uh, tax clearance? The man, the pastor said, no. Nigerian pastor began to worry this and no now. If that's the case, you can gather the money and give it back to you. A German man, the man said, I'm going to call police for you. So that is how they operate here. They don't take shit from anybody. When the pastor found out that the thing is no longer child play, the pastor got him and said, take your money. We don't want it again. We here, we give willingly. The man said, there's nothing like willingly. That church, as I'm talking to you now, that church is no longer in existence. Government shut it down. Yes, government just shut it down. They say, you're not serious. You're not sincere. Because of that single act. So that is how we operate here. We don't take shit from anybody. We don't take shit from anybody. If you do anyhow, the government will treat your fuck up. But in our own place, eh, for where, for where. So see you guys next time. Sharon.